he says he's a young person. Um, and I think it's important, it re relates to the question you just asked. So it said, would you please talk about the bonds between conservative America and Israel? I think perhaps my age limits my understanding. What combination of ideology, propaganda, lobbying, and money makes Israel's security such a sacred American cow? A wonderful question, I think. Well, it's a good question, but we, and, it, and, it, and these are important factors. I mean, let's start with what's called conservative support from Israel. At first, I think some kind of semantic hygiene is useful. Uh, there's really no conservatives in the United States. The people who are called conservatives are radical statists for the most part. Uh, that's very different from... Uh, uh, and there are a few genuine conservatives, which means something like classical liberals, but not many. Uh, the, what are called the cons if you take a look at what's at the Republican Party today, which is the strongest, you know, extreme support for Israeli policies, they have a popular base. Uh, a large part of the popular base is Christian evangelicals. They are passionate supporters of. Israeli policies, and they're also extreme anti-Semites. If you take a look at their, take a look at the, they don't say it, but take a look at the doctrines, like the dispensationalist doctrine. Yeah, yeah. They're looking forward to a battle in Armageddon, you know, where everybody gets murdered and the saved souls rise to heaven. And what happens to the Jews? Well, you know, according to some of these versions, 160,000 of them find Christ in time and they're saved. The rest are condemned to eternal damnation. How can you be more anti-Semitic than that? You know, that in fact, they're, you know, they're, uh, but their support for Israel is because partly, you know, interpretation of the Bible, interpretation of the book of Revelations and so on and so forth, which leads them to strongly support Israeli crimes to the extent that I mean, Israel welcomes the support, but it also tries to control them. Like when they try to blow up the Temple Mount and so on, Israel doesn't think that's a good idea, so they block them. But why is the Republican Party, why does it have a popular base like that? That's part of its popular base. Another part of its popular base is people who are so terrified that they have to have a gun in their pocket when they go into Starbucks to get a cup of coffee. That's, uh, that's, that's something that goes way back in American history. This has always been a very frightened country. 